hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you in ASP.NET Core using Razor Pages how to bind data into a checkbox list control and here we got the final output of that application notice we got the header tags display records to a checkbox list using ASP.NET Core in Razor Pages below that we got the checkboxes with the data dynamically added from the database India, US and Australia let's check the database table also and this is the table country the column name, C name, country names India, US and Australia I have binded into this checkbox list control that's it if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates before writing the coding part in ASP.NET Core to bind the data into a checkbox list first we'll check the table and the column name I want to bind into a checkbox list the table name is a country which contains two columns CID and C name and CID is the auto generated column and C name is the country name uh, right now in this country table contains three rows India, US and Australia and I have created this country table in sample DB database now my aim is I want to bind the C name column the country names into a checkbox list using ASP.NET Core in Razor Pages so let's open Visual Studio for this video tutorial I'm creating a new ASP.NET Core application go to file new project and from the project templates I'm selecting ASP.NET Core web application click next let's give the project name uh, bind data checkbox create And from the core web application, I'm selecting the template web application and the version I'm using ASP.NET and the ASP.NET Core version is 3.0. Click create. And the application is created successfully. Let's close this default window. Open Solution Explorer. First in this project I am adding my connection string in this app settings.json file. Let's open that file and hit and this file is a JSON file. Now between these curly braces I am adding my connection string. Between double quotes I am adding connection strings. After that colon curly braces between double quotes I am adding my connection string name which is my connection column between double quotes I'm adding my SQL server data source so to get the data source open server explorer right click the data connections add connection I'm adding my SQL server name after adding SQL server name now I'm selecting the database name The database name is a sample db database. Test connection is succeeded. Okay, okay. And here we got our sample db dbo is added under data connections. Now we require the data source of the sample db. Now right click the sample db dbo. Go to properties. In the properties, there is a connection string which contains the data source. Let's copy that one and paste between these double quotes and the final part let's add the comma here because it's a JSON file after adding the data source the connection string in this app settings.json file next we'll create a new folder in the project open solution explorer select the project folder right click the mouse add I'm selecting new folder the option let's give the folder name the folder name I'm giving the models folder now in this models folder I'm adding the classes right click the models folder 
add class. Let's give the class name here country class. Click add, and here we got our country class. Now, in this country class, I'm just defining the public properties, and these property names is exactly the same as we have given in the the column names in a table so let's add the properties before that let's import the namespace using system dot component model dot data inertions after adding this package data inertions package now let's add the p method then prop double tab which creates the property the first property type is the integer and the next the property name is the CID. Let's check in the database table. In the country table, the first column is a CID, and the second one is a C name. Let's copy this one. Prop double tab. It's a string type. Let's add that C name column name, which is our second property name. So after adding the properties in this country class, next class. We have to add our DB context class. Open Solution Explorer again in this models folder. I right click the models folder, add. I'm selecting class in this class. I'm adding application connection class. Click add, and here we got our application connection class. Now, in this application connection class. I'm inheriting the DB context class. Let's inherit that one. Colon DB context. The DB context class is belongs to the package of entity framework call. Let's add the package using system Microsoft Microsoft dot entity framework. If you notice in this drop down, there is no any entity framework code package is installed in our project. So first, let's install delete this one as well as this one also otherwise we'll get an error open solution explorer before installing the packages first let's expand the depend dependencies and notice in these dependencies there is no any packages folder so now let's right click the project name select the manage nudget packages go to browse and search for Microsoft Entity Framework Core, and this is a package I want to install. Microsoft Entity Framework. I'm selecting that one, and the version is 3.0. Let's install. Click install. Click OK. Let's accept the license. I accept. And this entity framework package is installed successfully. Notice here the symbol, which means it's installed successfully. Open Solution Explorer. Now we got in the dependencies folder, we have a packages folder which contains. Let me expand that one. See here the Microsoft dot entity framework code. The version is 3.0 is installed successfully into our project folder packages. Now we require other packages. Uh, entity framework code dot design select that one click install okay let's accept the license and the design is also installed successfully now we require the SQL server also entity framework code dot SQL server select that one click install click OK accept the license and SQL Server package is also installed successfully. Now the last package we require the Entity Framework Code dot Tools package. Select that one. Click Install. Click OK. I accept. See here we got the Tools package is also installed successfully. We have installed four packages. Let's open Solution Explorer. Notice in the packages folder, all the selected packages are installed successfully. And now after that, let's close this nudget package window. 
minimizes solution explorer error list let's close this output message box also now let's import the namespace using microsoft.entityframework code after that in the application class let's inherit the db context class then let's create the constructor for this class constructor ctor double tab which creates a constructor constructor sorry and db context options the db options the t context type we are getting from this application connection class so let's add the application connection class or class name this class name options colon base I'm adding the options then let's create a new property it's a public property the type is a DB set and this DB set the entity type you are getting from this country class so let's add the country class then the property name here is very important we have to give the property name exactly the table name so open again the table database copy the country table and add here that's it we have written the necessary requirements in this db context class now open solution explorer now open the startup.cs file in the startup.cs file we have to add our connection string services and before that we need to import the namespace using microsoft dot entity framework code then using uh, our project name dot models folder services dot add db context in the add db context i am adding our application class name application connection class then options options dot use SQL server method and this use SQL server method takes a connection string so configuration dot get connection string method the get connection string method is takes a string parameter and that parameter is our connection string name open app settings.json file our connection strings name is my connection copy that one and add between these double quotes in the get connection string method in the last let's add the semicolon that's it we have added the services add db contacts in configure services method in startup.cs file and then open solution explorer I want to bind the records in the razor pages so in the pages folder there is a default index.cshtml file open that one uh, I don't require this the default p tag and I'm changing the uh, header tag from display records into uh, checkbox list list as to asp.net code with razor page in razor pages after that I'm adding horizontal line now after the horizontal line open toolbox expand the HTML folder and this HTML folder there is a HTML elements which contains the input checkbox element let's add that one so after adding the checkbox element now switch to the the page model right click the mouse go to page model now in this page model if you notice there is a default code here private read only here I log a. let's delete that one add our application connection class application connection class let's import the namespace using 
Microsoft dot entity framework code then using our project name dot models folder now we'll get the application connection class application connection class underscore uh, CC and then here copy this one uh, application connection class I'm adding CC so delete this default code I'm adding underscore CC is equals to CC now after that let's give the property public the i enumerable and this i enumerable the out t type we are getting from the country class country class the property name get country a names is a property name now get country I'm adding get country names is equals to await met await um, underscore cc dot I'm adding the country table name dot to list method to list async to list async method now here we got an error the reason this method is void so let's delete that void instead of that uh, async task and that's it we have done the coding part to fetch the records from the country table now that records I want to bind switch to the index.html display in this checkbox control in our table we have more than one record so i need to add the for loop at for each loop variable item in model dot i'm adding the uh, this country names i'm adding here and then curly braces i'm closing this curly braces here After the checkbox, I'm adding the label and uh, the input type label control. Sorry, label control ID is equals to lab one ASP for ASP for at item dot the column name CID and I want to display the names of the country. So at item dot the C name, which is a country names. Let's add the break also. And that's it. We have done the complete coding part. Now let's check the results on the browser. Browse with. Let's select the browse. Google Chrome is a default one. Set as default browser. And here we got the final output of that application. Notice we got the headed axe display records to a checkbox list using ASP.NET Core in Razor Payers. Below that, we got the checkboxes with the data dynamically added from the database India, US, and Australia. Let's check the database table also. And this is the table country, the column name, C name, country names, India, US, and Australia. I have binded into this checkbox list control. That's it.